Hello, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this walkthrough, flip through of the Color Mage Oracle. So the Color Mage Oracle came into my life through Say Yes to the Deck. So I will try to remember to link that episode um, up in the cards for you. But we are going to be diving into this gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Um, there is pretty much not a lot to say about specific imagery in this card. Um, so in these cards, but I think because or for that reason, there actually aren't a whole lot of walkthroughs on YouTube of this deck. And I do think it's pretty unique in its space. There is, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is subtle texture to all of these colors. So they're not just like a flat swatch of color, swatch, swatch. They're not just a flat swatch of color. As you can see, there's a little bit of texture to it, which just makes them, I think, more enjoyable to look at. Um, but, and there also are keywords. In fact, I'm gonna grab my reading glasses. <laughs> there are actually keywords at the bottom and on most of the colors, because the text is small and is white, on most of the colors, you can see it pretty well, but there are some colors, particularly as we get into the really like pale shades, like a pale yellow, it's pretty hard to read. So I'm gonna zoom us in pretty close and if necessary, I'll zoom us in very close to the bottom text portion of the cards. There is a few things I want to chat about. I do have handy a cheat, cheat sheet that I received with this deck. It was a digital download. Um, I'm assuming that is still something that you can get from the creator. And this deck is, at the time I'm recording this video, currently still available directly from the Color Mage. So I will have that linked down below. Um, I wanted to bring this deck into my collection for a number of reasons. For starters, I really liked the idea of working with these really great keywords. And because there are so many colors, there are tons of keywords represented. I really like decks like this that have great expansive keywords that just let me use jumping off points. I thought it would also be really great to be able to shuffle and draw certain colors and use those intentions or the messages I get intuitively from the keywords to create a cohesive color palette and then play with that in either paint or with my coloring pencils in coloring books or whatever. I just, there's so many fun creative things I feel like I could do with a deck like this. I don't know if I'll use it to its full potential. I guess we'll see, but I tend to not work with a deck until I have filmed the walkthrough. It's just become part of my deck bonding process. Uh, so I like to do this process even if, um, I don't know, just just regardless, I guess. I do this for me, not just for YouTube, which is kind of funny because if it weren't for YouTube, I probably wouldn't have had a reason to do this. But talking through my impressions of cards and stuff is just a really great way for me to get to know a deck. So anyways, all that aside, we're going to zoom in and get into it in just a second. Uh, I do want to point out before we dive in that as we go through, I'm going to be separating the cards into color piles because I have next to me, as I mentioned, the cheat sheet. Uh, on my tablet. In fact, let's just take a look at this really quick. So this actually breaks down for every card. It breaks down the color card name, the primary keyword, which is great in case we can't read it, um, the upright and reversed meaning, a crystal. Now this is really cool if you enjoy working with crystals because there's a crystal associated with every, wow, that was really fast, with every single one of these cards. But, and this is what I'm really excited about, there's also, oh, and there's also herbs. Yeah, or no, excuse me, essential oils also associated with every single one of these cards. So you could also use them to create oil blends. Oh my gosh, like the possibilities are limitless. Um, and then also, as you can see here, the cards are divided up into chakras. So one thing I noticed right off the bat is that you have, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten root card chakra cards, a similar amount of, of navel or sacral chakra cards, uh, and then a similar amount of solar plexus chakra cards, but both the greens and the pinks are heart chakras. So you have about 20 heart chakra cards. Then you have the blues are the throat, the purples are the third eye, the browns are also root. So actually root chakra, you also have 20 cards. So sacral and solar plexus kind of get the short end of, oh, and throat kind of get the short end of the stick. Um, but then there's also some multicolored cards and those are associated with the crown chakra. So they come in a number of different shades. So you'll see that when we get there, but I wanted to have this handy. This will also be helpful if for some reason we can't read the um, text very well. And I have a feeling that when I'm working with this deck, I will be referring to this chart perhaps. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how the work with the deck evolves. All right. So 
let's get zoomed oops let's get zoomed in now these are these do feel like this is what the backs look like by the way um these feel like a standard tarot size and they are very slippery they feel like the make playing cards um smooth card stock they feel like the slightly thinner um so probably the 310 gsm i think uh, I could be wrong. This could be the 330, but I'm thinking of Danny's deck, Mystic Masters, which is I know is the 330 Superior Smooth, and this one feels a little bit thinner, just a bit, which is about right because there are 108 cards in this deck. 108 is a special number. If you've worked with a Mala, then um, you're familiar with that being a special number, but that is what we're working with. So let's get into it. I just can't stop playing with them. Um, also, I do plan to edge the sides of the cards according to their corresponding chakra for work when I do want to do chakra chakra based readings and such. So, all right, let's get zoomed in. Doop, doop. Okay, hopefully I'm going to bring it up a little bit from the bottom because the top just has the card number um, and then this big swash of color. And I really want us to get focused in on the text here because that is where obviously our meaning and our keyword is going to be. So that's the max zoom I can do. My camera stopped wobbling. That's the max zoom that I can do. So let's get into it. So we're going to start off in the root chakra and we have burgundy for passions and sex. Red Merlot for relationships. I love that because we, Merlot, of course, we think of wine, right? Scarlet for success and fortune. Ruby Rose, long, oh, excuse me, loving your soul path. Grapefruit, generous energy. Coral, mercy and forgiveness. Dahlia, healing, unrequited love. Sunset Joy, pleasure and laughter. Melon pink, compassion. And Himalaya, which is pure love. And so that is the first chunk of root chakra cards. So I'm going to set those to the side in a root chakra pile. One of them is upside down. How did I do that? Okay, anyways. Now we're into some paler colors. I love this color, snuggle. And the keyword for this card, I'm going to just move my mic. So one sec. Hopefully that doesn't change the volume too much. I just realized that it was clipped to um, a wire that was hanging from my camera and not to me, which meant if I moved my head too much, you might lose the sound. So I'm gonna look down at the guidebook and I just didn't want that to mess up everything. So anyways, anyways, snuggle is natural touch. And again, you can see how it can be pretty hard on this really pale color to see that keyword. Um, but snuggle is so obvious that I don't think I'll struggle too much with that. Uh, and then we have light apricot, release your fears. Dark apricot is find the humor. Okay, pink, Gary, G-A-R-I. I thought that's what that said. Is that a real word? Pink Gary. And this one is courageous sexuality. I love that. So we are in, by the way, the sacral chakra right now. And it's interesting too, because we can kind of see that with uh, touch and um, releasing your fear, finding the humor, courageous sexuality. There's definitely sacral energy here. Peach, we have open certainty, open certainty. This is a little further from my eyes than it would normally be because of the filming setup. Um, yeah, open certainty is correct. Then we have orange for creativity and vitality. I love that. Tangerine is anticipation and excitement. Salmon is overcoming adversity. Desert sand, awaken your creativity. Love that. And Oranac, Oranac, I don't think I'm saying that right. It, look, it reminds me of aubergine, but it's not at all. I don't know why I said that, but that's what it makes me think of. Energy of the ancients, I love that. So that is the last sacral chakra card. So I'm gonna set that in a sacral chakra pile. Next up, we're into solar plexus, and the yellows I, I found hardest to read the text. So yellow sand is give it time. I hope that that shows on camera, but give it time. Buttercup is sweet surrender. Firefly is illumination. Goldenrod is stay committed. Gold is abundance. Perfect for gold, right? 
Sunflower, oops, slidey cards, is Expansion and New Opportunity. El Sol, which is the sun, Deserved Reward and Purpose. And we're still in solar plexus here for pumpkin. And it's funny because pumpkin is such an orange color to me. Um, so I'm glad that they have it broken down in the sheet so that I can edge the sides of the cards to match. Otherwise, I would potentially get really confused about what's what. Um, so pumpkin is dance for life and love. Honey, sweeten your approach. Love that. And legion, be a friend or ally. So those are... Uh, I just realized... Yeah, 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 these are solar plexus. For a second I thought we were backwards, but no, we're not. So we had oranges, reds, then oranges, then yellows. Yeah, we're in the right order here, okay. So now we're into greens and we're moving into the heart chakra. So we have pale lime for gentle healing. That one's another one that's pretty hard to read. I can't tell if it's showing up on camera, but it's hard for my eyes for sure. Luna moth, goddess Ishtar and fertility. Sage is wisdom, which works of course, mint, is decisive action sprout learning something new new time inner calm and balance and so far i'm really loving these keywords for the chakras that they're associated with chalkboard develop your destiny i love this this mental image first of all this totally looks like chalkboard color um, with a little bit of like white chalkboard dust kind of smeared on it it's such a great color um, and develop your destiny. And I think the neat thing about this is that color has this kind of universal language, kind of like numbers do. And by the way, I would be totally remiss if I didn't tell you guys in this video also that I really honed in on how much I wanted this deck when I watched Samantha Menzo. She did a color magic video that really highlighted, I think, the potency in these cards. And she it was such a beautifully done video. I definitely think you should check it out. I'll have a link to it in the description box or up in the cards. So add that to your watch later list and check it out because it was, it was again, it was a beautifully done video. Sammy doesn't put out videos at the pace that like I put out videos, but her videos are very high quality and they're worth checking out. Okay, anyways. Um, so I really like the idea of chalkboard and designing your destiny or developing your destiny because I'm literally thinking of being at a chalkboard and like mapping out or like making plans. That's what that makes me think of. So anyways, enough about that. Jade uh, is act now. Spinach, toughen your spirit. I mean, who immediately thought of Popeye when I pulled this card? Comment below if I pulled spinach and said toughen your spirit and you thought Popeye. I mean, hello? And dragon power and legacy I love that there's such an empowering card in the heart space because I think a lot of times we think of the heart space as being a very tender and soft space and it is but there's also ferocity in there right which I love so that is all of the green cards and these are heart chakra cards but we're not done with heart chakra so actually I'm gonna keep the pile here so we can keep adding to it because we're now into pinks and pinks are still heart chakra so here we have pale pink gentle love Dusty Rose, your love has aged, let love enter. Oh wait, I think let love enter is the next card. So yeah, this is just your love has aged. Oh, Dusty Rose, your love has aged. Okay, sorry. Pink is let love enter, so just straight pink. Such pretty colors. This just, playing with this deck just makes me wanna like get out paint or coloring pencils and just make art. Cotton Candy, uh, Make-A-Wish. Lotus Pink, Goddess Kuan Yin and Mercy. Eros is Spirit of Cupid. Echinacea. I love this because this is literally the color of Echinacea flowers, which I think is so cool. Um, anyways, it says Inner Strength and Immunity. Damascus, Self Love. Clary Sage, Euphoria and Insight. And finally, Eden, Old and New Order. So these are all of our heart chakra cards. So it's a much thicker pile, as you can see. So I'm gonna set that in the heart chakra pile. Okay, now we're into blues and we're looking at the throat chakra. So here we have Lapis Lazuli, Enhance Self-Respect. Sapphire, Regenerate Community. Blue, Charity and Trust. Magi, Reconcile Differences, Cornflower, Stand Up to the Elements, Azure, Angelic Communication. Sorry, I'm going to back up really quick, sorry. 
okay, corn flowers stand up to the elements. That just caught my attention and I couldn't get my brain to move on. So it specifically says here, corn flower wants you to be resilient. And if it was reserved, it was corn flower bruising of the ego. Interesting, okay. Azure, uh, angelic communication. This light color, I wonder if the stone here is um, angelite. Yep, angelite and celestite, that's perfect. And the um, herb or the oil is white angelica. Okay, sky blue, express, express more magic. Cyan, speak the truth at all times. Perfect for the throat chakra, right? Turquoise, spiritual empathy. Love that. And Neptune, voice of your muse. Oh, so cool. Okay, so those are our throat chakra cards. So there's, again, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so there's like ten cards um, for three of the chakras and then 20 cards for three of the, for four of the chakras, right? Right? I don't know, I can't math right now. Okay, so now we're into the purples and we're moving into the third eye space. So we have grape for intoxication and stupor, which I guess makes sense because wine. <laughs> Wise owl for inner wisdom and foresight. Indigo is clairvoyance. Imperial is sovereignty. Love that there's a sovereignty card. Shapeshift is myth and magic. Oh, shapeshift is this color. I just realized shapeshift feels like more like a keyword than a color. So that's interesting. Um, lavender is me, myself, and I. Lilac is belief and faith. Mauve is emotional flexibility. And mallow is listen well and fully. Orchid, which is one of my favorite colors ever. This seems like such a light orchid. I think I think of orchid the way that this card, um, this deck has echinacea. It's like more, but it's like a pinky purple. Anyways, I always think of orchid the Crayola crayon, which is a little bit darker. Anyways, sorry. Uh, raise your vibrations for orchid. So those are our third eye cards. I'm just going to like place my phone for now on the pile so they don't run away. Okay, so now we're into chocolate. So I'm gonna pull out our root chakra pile because these are gonna get added to our root chakra pile. So we have chocolate indulgence, how perfect is that? Heather, solitude and diligence. Brown, ground thyself. This cracks me up because this is literally the color that Sammy pulls in her video and it's, it's just, it's funny because it's like a deck full of colors. So like brown's like not the color you'd expect to come through. Cafe, create sacred space. I love that with cafe. Typha, earth energy. Canyon, deep perspective. Shay, beauty or beast. Actually, let's read the guidebook, like the entry for Shay, because that's interesting, beauty or beast. Shay wants you to choose beauty. And if it's in reverse, it says Shay wants you to choose beast. That's really interesting. So I kind of almost feel like be soft or be ferocious kind of thing. Interesting. Um, Jasper is follow the leader. Tumbleweed is native spirit. And fawn is ancestry and family. So that is it for root chakra cards. So I'm going to set my root pile over there. So then there's also three cards that are not associated with any chakras. We have black, which is dark, smoke, which is ignorance and mystery, and white, which is light. So those give us, I guess, some really neutral energies, right? So we have, it's either clearly dark, light, or it's that, it's interesting this is ignorance, ignorance and mystery, like what you don't know, where there isn't clarity, right? Where you can't see clearly. So I feel like those are really great to have in the deck as well, but I would probably edge these, interestingly. I probably will edge this one in black, this one in gray, and this one in white. Um, and yeah, it's interesting to see. Um, I'll be curious to see how I end up getting on with this deck. Now we're into the crown chakra cards. So we have Watermelon, mindfulness, alchemy for transformation. Big energies in the, in the crown chakra, as I think it should be, right? Um, and it looks like there are actually about 20 cards in the crown chakra too. So there's just, it's interesting to me that the throat, the sacral, and the solar plexus get shortchanged. And the third eye. Yeah, so four get only three, get only 10 cards each and three of them get double. So it's like there's an extra weight on the heart, the root, 
and the crown. Interesting. I'd be curious what you think about that. Why would you think there would be extra cards for root, heart, and crown? I have some theories. Um, it's interesting because they are kind of the heart is the midpoint of the chakras. We've got root at the base and crown at the at the upper realm. So there is a balance there when you think about it, even though there's not a balance there. So anyways, I'm curious what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, sorry, back to it. So next we have New Age Evolution, and these are so pretty, these colors. I should actually zoom us out just a touch for these so you can actually see the full card. Yeah, so here was Alchemy, and here was the Watermelon. Um, and I immediately, when I looked at this deck, I was like, I bet you the crystal for this is Watermelon Tourmaline, and it is. So like the crystal associations definitely make sense. Um, let's pull them down just a bit. Hopefully you can still read the text, but I'm reading it out loud anyway, so. Um, Kiss, or excuse me, I, no, that is Kiss. Okay, I was looking in the wrong spot, Goddess Freya. I wish, like all the other ones that mentioned goddesses had like a comma and another keyword. I wish this one did too, but Kiss is also a great keyword. Paradise, Heaven on Earth. Iris, Eternal Spring, Blush, Cheerful Love, Spirit, The Hero's Journey. Look at this gorgeous wash of color. Memory, Impressions, Focus, Guidance and Direction, Rain, Water Energy, Poison Ivy, Deadly Sins. Ghostland, forgetfulness, disease, stress, and negativity, channel, peaceful relationships, Sekhmet, warrior spirit, Archangel, invoke the guardians, Prometheus, gifts of humanity, La Luna, inner flow and cycle. Retrograde, Reflection and Delays, Ego, Shadow Work, Minos, uh-oh, I can't read that, Sacrifice, oh, there we go, Sepia, Old Thought, Lighthouse, Saving Grace, so pretty, and Tincture, find the cure. And this, oh my gosh, this cracks me up. So when I first got this deck, I took a quick flip through the cards for myself. Look at this little oil spot at the corner here. I literally thought something was wrong with my card. It, it's not. It's literally intentionally there by the deck creator to look like your card has got oil or tincture seeped into it. It's the tiniest touch, but it's so clever. And I just, it, yeah, it just tickles me. So these are our crown chakra cards. So let's get zoomed out. Is. So I'm going to edge the sides to match the chakra that they go with and then I'm going to match these or I'm going to edge these cards in black gray and white That'll be one of my projects coming up. I guess I won't edge this one because the side will already be white I might have a white something I can use there I don't know. We'll see we'll see if I can get creative because I would like it to stand out as being really really white on the edges Anyways, okay, that's enough babbling for me. I'm really excited to play with this deck I can't wait to hear what you guys think Let me know in the comments section down below how you would work with a deck like this if you would work with a deck like this I'm super curious um, This is one I'm just excited to bring in so I can't wait to get started and play with it Thank you so so much for joining me for this walkthrough of the color mage oracle I really enjoy doing this as part of my deck bonding experience, as I mentioned, but I really appreciate you hanging out with me. So thank you so, so much. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video or you found value in it. Please subscribe if you're new here. Click the bell to be notified of my future videos and live streams. Thank you so, so much, and may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye, guys.